Hey, good morning, friends. It's Julie Hamilton. Welcome to Monday. Hey, what's up? Hope you're doing great. Um, I, don't you love Mondays? It's just a chance to just step back into like all God's calling us to and partner with Him to do our work. So I hope you're excited for today. And I hope you had are having a wonderful three-day weekend. If you're taking a three-day weekend, I hope you're having fun. Um, so today is a little different. This is Julie Hamilton with Life Builders, bringing you simple tips to build a strong and healthy life on. And today is just a little bit different. We're going to be talking about going live live on doing video on Facebook live and Instagram stories and maybe YouTube you can go live on there so what I want to know from you is what is one thing that keeps you from going live um, by by far the biggest questions that I get asked and the most questions I get asked are about doing Facebook live so I thought you know what I'll just do a video about it and just give you that tools that you need to move forward in that um, you know uh, what held me back from not doing live video was feeling like I had to have everything right um, but a lot of people feel like shy because they feel like maybe I'm an introvert well I'm gonna tell you today why this is perfect for introverts um, you maybe you feel like you don't have the right setting you don't know what to talk about um, that you feel nervous well I feel nervous too when I go on like right before this I got little butterflies so you know it's okay so I'm gonna help today hopefully put some tools in your hands that are gonna make you rock live video <laughs> well so I am a photographer and what do you think the one thing that people say to me when they first meet me there are photography clients what do you think they say yeah, okay, I, I got you, Lorraine. Just to think about getting ready hair and makeup so I can look presentable. Oh, you're so welcome, Nikki. Well, what people say most of the time when they meet us and we're gonna take their pictures is this, this. I'm not photogenic, right? Have you ever said that to someone? I'm not photogenic. We have some of the most amazing pictures we've taken of people who are not photogenic. Because what happens, what we always tell them is, no, it's not that you're not photogenic. It's that you've had people taking pictures of you with iPhones and um, with the, that aren't professional photographers. You haven't had the right tools to let you know that you actually are photogenic, right? So these people can create beautiful pictures, but they need the right tools behind them. They're not used to having the right tools. So I think that you guys, I feel confident that with some tools, you guys are gonna be able to do powerful live videos. I know you have something to say, and I know you wanna share it with the world. If you're a blogger, an entrepreneur, I know that you know that Facebook Live and live video is the way to reach people exponentially right now than you would normally reach 1200% more shares than just text and photo alone which is huge because text and photo used to be the big deal but now it's live video so I know that you can do this and I'm gonna give you five tips right now on how to rock it um, so the first one is you know some people are like I can't do live video because it's so complex I need lights and I need a tripod and I need this and that okay let me just X that out and tell you right now you can see I'm looking at my notes Number one is keep it simple. You have everything you need right now. You have a phone and you have a window. I'm pretty sure you have those two things. That's all you need. Now, what the difference is right now, yes, I'm using a light because I'm, I'm, I'm facing away from the window and I am using a tripod, but I'm using them because I wanna show you something. For like the first year, I'm gonna move this right now. For the first year of doing videos, I've been doing it a couple years now, I spent all my videos like this. So facing a window, getting that indirect light that's gonna keep um, my skin looking good, not needing a lot of edited, not showing a lot of wrinkles, not a lot of shadows. So I did this literally, and I would have my phone like this, and I would be videoing, so looking out the window. You have a phone and a window, that's what you need to use. That's how you're gonna get that beautiful indirect light. That's all you need. You don't have to have a light, you don't have to have a tripod, you don't have to have a microphone. You have it all what you need right now. So I hope that encourages somebody out there that you actually just can use what you have. Now if you get to a point where you need a light, you need a, you know, a stand or tripod or whatever, I will put those links in the notes for what I use. I'll put them in the, um, yeah, I'll put them in the notes for you so that if you want to do that, then you can get those, but you don't need it. You just need a phone and a window and press live button and there you go. Now the second problem I feel people say a lot of times is, I say uh too much, I say um. Okay, have you ever tried to make that live video and then you're on there going um, um, okay, 
I've done that so many times. And what the one thing that you can do is the reason that we say um is because we're thinking, right? So what you, the second tip is make a plan. So this is my plan for today. You can see it. I wrote it out on some little post-it notes. I have a plan for every day and I usually write it bullet points on a post-it note and I'm looking at it when I'm talking to you. And um, so because you need to have something where you're, you know, know where you're going, you know, you've got your call to action, you know, you've got your call to comment, you know, you've got your thing. I scratch my nose a lot. Yeah, we always have this little text or some people like play with their hair, but all it takes is practice to get past those. So you might start out saying, um, a lot. I did. I was like, uh, but the more that I did it, the less that I tried doing that tick or that whatever. And part of doing that is just making a plan. So they're always moving. You always know where you're going. You're always telling the story. You're just moving forward. Does that make sense? Does that make sense to anybody? Um, let me know if you're there. This is helping. So that's number two is create a plan for your talk. Number three, you don't have to wait until it's perfect. Sometimes we're like, it has to be perfect. I have to have my makeup perfect. I have to have my hair perfect. I have to have the perfect setting and I have to have the wall painted behind me with the chandelier. And you know, that's one thing that kept me from making videos. And you guys might know this already, but when I saw people making videos, I just saw like these perfect, it was like they were in an office and, and they have their hair right and their makeup. And you guys, I'm a homeschool mom, work at home, stay at home, that wear, goes to the gym and wears like yoga pants all day with no makeup. So, you know, I was like, I can't do this because my, my setting's not right. My, I don't have my makeup on, it's not right. But and my heart was just bursting with stuff to say and stuff to share that I wanted to encourage people. So one day I couldn't take it anymore. I just came home and I just made a video. If you go into my YouTube channel, go back to the very first one, episode one. It is me right after the gym. I, my hair is all jacked up. My face is red. And I'm just standing in my living room and all the things are messed up. So it's okay. And do you know what happened? Instead of people criticizing me, they wrote me and said, thank you for being authentic. That people want to see real people. They want to see, they want to know, like, I want you to tell you that I've got the drywall and painters guys downstairs right now for the 14th day in two weeks trying to fix my kitchen island. My husband's downstairs making smoothies, so I came upstairs to get away from it all to come up here. Um, and so I'll, I'll show you my, I'm in my room. And you can see it's not perfect. Like my bed's not made. I got stuff piled up here on the couch, but I'm not showing that to you. <laughs> but you know, you don't have to be perfect. You don't have to wait till everything's just right because listen, perfection doesn't inspire people. Authentic that word that I'm trying to say, you know what it is. Authenticity inspires people. So be real, have your struggles, have your emotions, have your just got back from the gym, no makeup days, it's okay. People are not looking for perfection from you. They're looking for authenticity. So um, that's the fourth thing is don't wait until it's perfect. You don't have to have a perfect painted background. You know, I, around my house, I try to do, I try to vary it. So I'll do it at my desk. Sometimes I just do it on the stairs or in a chair in the living room. This is in my room. Like I just go around. Sometimes it's in the messy school room where there's like books piled up everywhere and all kinds of weird stuff going on. And you know, let's be honest, you're going to have good broadcasts and you're going to have bad ones. I had one time a fly fly in my mouth live on video when I was doing a video. It's on my, uh, what episode is it? I think 39 or something I'm on YouTube. But um, anyway, I've had the UPS man come to the store, door, the air conditioner man. One time Livy was going like this with the blinds. Oh, sorry, let me, let me get the two, the, she was going like this. Okay, well I was trying to record a video and it was right in my face. And then one time she was kicking the tripod like this. Doot, doot, doot. <laughs> so things are going to happen. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, people will love you anyway. And then the last, um, oh yeah, two more. Um, so the next tip is how to talk. Now, when you talk on live video, you want to talk like directly at the little dot. So if you see right now, I'm going to show you the difference. So I'm looking at the dot on my camera. It looks like I'm looking at you, right? Um, okay. So I'm talking to you and I'm talking to you like I would talk to my best friend. That's the trick. This is why 
why it's so great for introverts because all you have to do is talk to one person. Like I'm talking to Nikki, I'm talking to Nadine, I'm talking to Lorraine, I'm talking to you guys each when I'm talking to you at this dot. And it's perfect for introverts because it's that one-on-one -on -one conversation. Okay, but well, I'm gonna show you what happens when I'm looking at myself, okay? So that's when I'm looking at you. When I'm looking at myself, do you see how it looks like I'm looking far away and I'm like, oh yeah, so anyway, I got this straight hair and blah, da da da. You can see how it's not looking at the camera. You have to look at the dot and talk like you're talking to your best friend. That's how to talk to the camera. You guys can totally do this. And then the last tip, I'm gonna tell you how to get better. I'm gonna sound like your mom right now. But the last tip is to get better, you need to practice. I've done over, I mean, hundreds of videos by now. I'm still practicing. I'm still working on it. I'm still developing my stories. I'm still developing my plans, still trying to get rid of bad habits. It just takes practice. And then one day after you've been practicing a long time, people are gonna be like, wow, you're such a natural. You're so good at that. And you're gonna be like, no, I've been practicing for a couple of years. So all you have to do is start practicing Okay, let's see what Nikki said. When I first started recording YouTube, I had to put a little post-it flag by that dot to remind me to look there. That's a great idea. Yeah, because you know, you kind of want to see the action going on. You see stuff moving over here, but you have to look at the dot. So I love that idea. So you guys just practice. And there's a settings on Facebook Live where you can practice for, you can set it for only me, so only you can see it. You can set it for just my friends or like sometimes I'll, if I'm practicing something, I'll just set it where me and Damien can see it. And you know, you can save that and re look at it and see like, what were the things I need to do differently? So you can practice live video. It doesn't always have to be public. You can practice it on your own and try to get rid of those ums and all those kinds of things. So I hope that helps somebody out there. Nikki, I love your tips. Lorraine, I'm so excited to see what you're doing. I can't wait to see you guys do live video. So tag me in your live videos, um, or at least like tell me you did it. Cause I want to see what you're doing on encourage you. If you want feedback, let me know. I'll give you feedback. Um, and the last thing is, if you want, I was going to set up something on my website today. If you go to my website, lifebuildersbyjuliehamilton.com to subscribe and just press subscribe and you have to put in your email, I'll send you today 10 types of Facebook live videos or live videos that are going to give you some really good content ideas. So it's going to be 10 types, different types of videos that you can do that hopefully will just inspire you to start some content and start doing some live videos. Because sometimes that's where we get stuck. Like, where's this content creation coming from? What am I going to do? What am I going to say? And uh, that's really important to have good content creation. So go to my website, subscribe, put in your email, and I will send that to you today. It won't happen like right this second, but I'll send it to you today. So I hope you guys have an amazing week. Yeah. Oh, thanks, Alex. Great to see you. Thank you guys for tuning in. I hope this helps somebody. And um, I'm also developing a course on it. So I can't wait to get that rolling. We are almost to the video part where we're doing videos so I'm so excited we've been writing the script and all that kind of good stuff good morning um, so anyway I hope you guys have a great week and I will see you next week love you and may your minds be fierce and your heart strong and your spirits so kind today thank you for tuning in Mwah! I will see you on Thursday and don't forget we have miss Jennifer Bennett dr. Jennifer Bennett on Saturday she is a social media expert, social media influencer, and she's going to teach us how to be worth following, which is a big deal. So Saturday at one o'clock Pacific time. Love ya. Mwah. Bye.